Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to be taking a look at subroutine arguments. So again, this is section five, lecture five. So let's jump right into it. So subroutine arguments. What are subroutine arguments? Well, subroutine arguments are just values passed into the subroutine from the user. So again, the user can pass in information into our subroutine that we can create and we can process that information in some type of form and give the results. So why should we even use arguments? So instead of having to hard code our programs and modify them every single time we need a new different value, we can give the user the choice to enter his or her information or values. So again, we can collect information from our users and we can process that information again in our pro program. So, for example, if we have our subroutine called print name, and if I was the user, I would enter two pieces of information or two values, which is my first name, Victor, and my last name, Davis. So I'm passing in two pieces of information. So if we look into our print name definition, if we go here, we'll actually see a print statement. Hello is going to print out the first name and our last name. Well, in this case, my first name and my last name. So again, the user can enter their information that's required by our subroutine and we can analyze and do some kind of operation on that that information that the user enters. So let's take a look at some of the examples now for I can show you guys live. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to create our subroutine. So again, I'll use the keyword sub to start with our new subroutine followed by the name print name and you know what we actually do not need parentheses when we're creating and defining our subroutine so I'll just leave off the parentheses and inside our block of code or our scope within our curly braces I'll type in parentheses and what I'm doing now, I'm defining or declaring two new variables in a list. So I'll type first name. And for the second one, I'll type last name. So again, guys, here I'm creating scalar variables, two scalar variables as a list. So again, as you can see, the parameters defines a list and I only want to declare two scalar variables first and last name and this right here the at key underscore it actually defines the information of our argument so I'll explain this in more details in our next lecture but for right now we're going to use the at character in underscore to have our values from our, our arguments. So again, don't worry about this for right now. I'll explain that in detail in our next lecture. And let's skip a line and just do a print statement. Put our famous double quotation marks. Let's add a new line character. And I'll type hello. And I'll just copy first name. I'll add a space. 
and paste in the last name. And at the bottom, of course, we want to call our print name subroutine. And now, once we call it, we can add the parentheses. We have to add the parentheses. And this is because we're going to add our, our information. So, the first name, I'll type Victor. And last name, I'll type Davis. Okay. So, again, even if we don't have any parameters that's required we can still use empty parentheses and with me and if you're a existing programmer we always know to just put parentheses that's just a habit with functions methods and in this case Perl subroutines so again I'll save our information and let's run it and see if it works run script congratulations as we can see here hello Victor Davis so again what we did was we took user information passed it into our print name and our print name subroutine had performed some task with our user information and displayed hello then the name of the user so if you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know, and I'll see you guys on our next lecture.